Hi students, welcome to the session on antenna and ice temperature. Let us uh, see this critical concept now. Right? So, we know that uh, every object with a physical temperature above absolute zero radiates energy. So, radiation is possible for any object with uh, temperature is above absolute zero. This all we know from our physics. Right? So, the amount of energy radiated by any source is represented by equivalent temperature. So, how much uh, uh, energy radiated, the amount of energy radiated is equivalently represented by uh, equivalent temperature. Okay. So, now we are going to see about uh, antenna noise temperature. Here, let us assume the antenna noise temperature is represented by Ta, that is temperature of the antenna. Ta indicates how much, uh, it indicates how much noise an antenna produces in a given environment. An antenna produces in a given environment so right so it is a way of representing noise power right with the equivalent temperature value right so uh, let us assume that our uh, earth station antenna or dth antenna fine so the it receives signals from the satellite fine let us assume satellite is here okay so the signals coming from here to earth, uh, from uh, orbit to geostationary geo orbit to earth station, right? It is around 36 kilometers. So, when the power received reached the receiving antenna, it reaches only picowatts of power, right? That is very, 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 very small power, right? Signal power is very small in terms of picowatts. So, what is the thing we have to take care at this moment is the noise power should be lesser than that otherwise the signal power will be suppressed but what is the signal power we receive it's picowatt so the noise power received by the antenna should be lesser than this value right from where the antenna receives noise power that is very very important thing we must understand right so the antenna receives noise from uh, where from ground right from sky right from the weather condition the plus uh, natural and man made noises right so these are all the noises uh, also received by the antenna these noises are weighted according to the gain right so weighted according to the antenna gain so this noise power should be lesser than this picowatts then only we can receive the signal otherwise noise will dominate the signal and signal will be suppressed and we get only noise so what happens once antenna receives the signal what will happen it will be sent through the feeder line the feeder line may be nothing but our transmission line or wave guide right they also introduce some a limited amount of noise right so from the feeder line uh, the weak signal is sent to the low noise amplifier it will amplify the signal g feed is the gain of the feeder line right t is a temperature similarly here uh, why we are sending this into low noise amplifier because uh, it will what do you call it will amplify the low free, uh, low power signal so what will happen they also introduce some noise after that, uh, the signal is sent to the receiving system where down converter and all other devices are there. They also introduce some noise, right? So, all these noise power must be equivalently represented, fine? So, these noise, our signal power should be more than this, then only we can get this signal. So, these noise are playing crucial role in the antenna design. So, let us see how this noise power is represented equally in temperature, right? So, now we understand that noise is playing a crucial role. The average noise power, the average 
nice power average nice power is n right of a typical nice source these are all nice source i told these are these things are nice source field line l and a receiver are all are nice source so the average nice power of a nice source with a certain bandwidth they have a nice power as bandwidth no so with a certain bandwidth can be measured by so you can quantify this nice power in terms of equal and nice temperature that's what we are going to learn right so every source produces nice this nice power can be quantified in terms of equal and temperature so the average nice power can be represented as n is equal to ktb right so where n is average nice power k is boltzmann constant whose value is 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joule per kelvin this is equivalent temperature in kelvin nice equivalent temperature in kelvin right b is a bandwidth in hertz okay so what is this nice equivalent temperature this is not a physical temperature please remember again t is not a physical temperature i told already fine so it is a, it's not a physical temperature of the source it's just a convenient way of representing it's just a convenient way of representing the noise power right so we must remember it. so whenever you think about antenna temperature don't think that it is temperature it's a means of representing noise power right so now we find the average noise power at the antenna terminal right so the average noise power at the antenna terminal antenna terminal is characterized by what do you call what do you call equivalent antenna temperature is characterized by antenna temperature antenna temperature ta you see the average power of any terminal is characterized by equivalent temperature the average power of the uh, average power at the antenna terminal is characterized by antenna temperature right so here t is for any uh, in this equation t is for any any terminal here t is for antenna the terminal is antenna so the noise power at the antenna na is equal to k into ta into b what is the only change na is the noise power at the antenna terminal ta is the antenna temperature that's the only difference right so initially i gave the general view now we apply the concept to the particular terminal called antenna right so what is this ta represents i told already ta represents the weighted contribution of the weighted contribution of all the radiating noise sources all the radiating noise sources right which is picked up by the picked up by the antenna how it picks up those noise power picked up by the antenna through its main lobe and side lobe through its main lobe and side that is another important thing we have to remember how the antenna see it's a weighted contribution of all the radiating noise sources what are the radiating noise sources these are all the radiating noise sources right these all these fellows and these fellows are radiating noise sources T, ta represents that okay so the t factor ta depends on this is very very important da depends upon one okay let me, uh, let me raise it mm. ta 
depends upon one orientation and elevation angle of antenna and elevation angle of antenna right so you see if our antenna is looking at the sky like this fine so how it will pick up it will pick up the uh, noise from the ground and thermal noise of the earth right through its side lobes that is very important right so i told already antenna picks up the radiation power noise power for through the main lobe and side lobe if antenna looks at the earth station uh, sorry ground uh, satellite station so whatever happen where it will pick up the noise from the ground and uh, also it pick up the thermal noise of the earth okay so like the through its side lobe so orientation and elevation angle of antenna is also playing crucial role in the ta value and uh, what the antenna is looking at so that's what i told here antenna is looking at satellite so that also playing crucial role if it is looking at ground that is a different way right so from a satellite view it is a different uh, noise will be produced and temperature of the region so the noise temperature depends upon the temperature of the region for which antenna is radiating for which antenna is radiating right so so what is the thing it is also depending on the temperature of the region for which antenna is radiating so what we can do we can consider a receiving antenna as a remote sensing device right because it is depending on it is radiating the noise power uh, it is uh, radiating the temperature depending on the temperature of the region for which the for which it radiates right so it senses the like like that it is senses the temperature so we can call the antenna as a remote sensing and a temperature measuring device temperature measuring device right because the antenna noise temperature depends on the temperature of the region so so it uh, it senses the temperature then only it radiate uh, noise temperature varies so this so we can call antenna as a remote sensing or temperature measuring device so if the radiation pattern of an antenna is represented by r theta pi r theta pi is a radiation pattern then ta is expressed as ta is equal to 1 by 4 pi theta phi integral is varying with respect to theta and phi r theta phi p theta phi sin theta d theta d phi here you see what is the meaning here what we do you see what is the meaning of this uh, integration the temperature this is what t theta phi is a temperature surrounding the antenna temperature surrounding the antenna so here what we are doing here we are integrating the temperature surrounding the antenna over the sphere how i am telling the that it is integrating over the sphere see we know that from the steridian definition integral sin theta d theta d phi will give it's a sphere spher spherical concept right sphere so we consider this sphere the sphere is surrounding the antenna so here the temperature surrounding the antenna integrated over the sphere right which is weighted by the radiation pattern this is a weight for these fellows this r theta phi acting as a weight right so 3x here 3 is a weight for x similarly for t, t of theta pi sin theta phi it's a temp, t theta phi is a temperature surrounding the antenna integral sin theta d theta d phi is indicating the integration over the sphere right which is weighted by the temperature is weighted by the 
radiation pattern so temperature surrounding the antenna is integrated over the entire sphere weighted by the antenna's radiation pattern right so if our antenna is isotropic antenna what will happen r theta phi is equal to 1 for isotropic antenna so what will happen to ta because radiation pattern is one it is in everywhere same so it is t theta phi sin theta d theta d phi so what is the meaning for an isotropic antenna the noise temperature is average of full temperature around the antenna you see it is integration means sum 4 pi is the total steady radian sum divided by total is nothing but our average so what is the thing this indicates for an isotropic antenna fine oh, isotropic antenna and I, let me write like this an isotropic uh, an isotropic antenna would have a noise temperature that is the average of I told how it is average average of full temperature it's average of T so average of full temperature around the antenna right so this equation indicates what it is indicating temperature surrounding temperature surrounding the antenna is integrated over the sphere and weighted by antenna's radiation pattern that's what the meaning of this integration that's what i told right i hope you understand this concept if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section i will clarify thank you